Hi there, it's Mr. Glover here. Um, this is just a quick help video to ensure that you know what to do to access your live lessons which are taking place this week uh, and then subsequently your feedback sessions which will take place in the final week of term uh, and they'll be run using uh, Microsoft Teams live event function. You've been provided with uh, an information booklet which contains everything that you need to know on how to access them uh, but um, if you wanted any further fact clarification if you watch this video I'll guide you through um, how to access them on that first occasion. So you will have the information booklet which has the links to each of the live uh, sessions that are running uh, every day. So you'll just need to click on that link uh, at the correct time so you can access it at either 9am, uh, 11am or 1pm depending on um, the session that you're trying to access on any given day. I'll also be emailing out the links to students uh, on a daily basis so you have uh, the links that you need for that day and I'll also send those out to parents as to, uh, to make sure that it's as easy as possible for you to access the live lessons uh, as they take place during the week. If for any reason you can't access the live lesson at the given time, um, maybe due to sharing of facilities at home, uh, then uh, if you click on the link later in the day it will take you to a recording of that session. But the the key thing is to try and get in there live so you can ask questions of your teacher um, as the event is taking place. So if you are looking to go to the live events from the daily email that's going to take place, you'll need to log into Office 365, go to your um, email account through Outlook, um, and every morning I'll send through a link um, so you've got um, the links in a nice, easy, accessible place for the sessions that are taking place today. And this is just an example uh, of a demonstration. Uh, that I'm going to do uh, right now with you. So um, here's the link and I might want to go into my first session at 9am which is uh, mathematics. So all I need to do is click on this link uh, and then this page will pop up. Now um, I have the choice at this stage um, I have the choice at this stage of entering the event uh, through um, the Microsoft Teams app which I can download for free uh, onto my um, computer uh, and it might be a wise choice at the start of the week for you to uh, do that in advance um, of one of these sessions taking place um, or maybe you could log into the first session a few minutes early to enable that to take place. But you don't need to download the app, you can just watch on the web. Um, if you're looking to watch on your phone you will need to download the app from the App Store on um, a, a web-enabled mobile device uh, in order for you to do that. But if I can just click on watch on the web then this will now take me through to my live event. Now it can take uh, a few moments uh, for that to, to load up uh, but do be patient with it. Um, you should then see this page. Uh, you can see it says it's loading Microsoft Teams. And then after a few moments, you will um, be taken through to this page. It may take uh, a couple of minutes or so for that to, to load up, so do ensure you give yourself enough time to get in uh, to the meeting um, ahead of it starting. You, you will be able to access that link um, uh, prior to the start of the lesson. Um, if you do kind of go in quite early, the, it'll just come up with a, a page which will say uh, this live event hasn't started yet, um, but it will start promptly at 9 o'clock um, or 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock, depending on uh, when your event takes place. So I'm now into the live event and I'm ready for my teacher to begin making the presentation. Uh, and what will happen is through your computer audio um, you will hear uh, the teacher talking through some resources. Uh, they may even appear on the screen uh, talking to you depending on uh, the subject that you are um, studying. Um, the main thing that you uh, want to be able to do as you're going through your live um, lesson, the live event, uh, is to be able to ask a question. Uh, so within this box all you need to do is ask a question uh, and type your question uh, into the box. Um, uh, and when you are ready you can send your question to your teacher 
um, and then that goes through to your teacher. Uh, they will then look to reply. Now there is a, a slight delay on the, the live stream which means um, your teacher will um, see that question uh, and then uh, will reply to you but there, there may be a, a short delay in terms of replying. Um, your teacher might think it's a good question um, to address uh, verbally over the presentation or they might just send you a message directly back uh, in, this, in this text box. But it's important to keep this Q&A open uh, because um, there may be some um, opportunity through the lesson for you to be able to ask uh, questions. Other than that, we really hope you enjoy the live lessons uh, over the next week um, and hope that they uh, give you the information you need to prepare for your uh, forthcoming assessments. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, please do get in touch with the school, um, either to myself or to your form teacher, if you have any worries or concerns. Uh, good luck and enjoy the lessons this week, um, and we hope to see you again very soon.